Snowflake is a cloud data platform that allows you fast access to your data for things like analytics and sharing. One of the challenges that you run into is governance around this data. Who has access to what? What type of data is within the environment itself? This is where Big ID comes into play. Our discovery and depth platform allows you to know your data within Snowflake to drive insights as well as governance. Big ID helps Snowflake with data governance through multiple pillars, through these three pillars, know your data, control your data, and unify security and governance across your enterprise. By being able to know your data, Big ID allows you to do in-depth data discovery across structured and unstructured data to help you find, classify, and catalog all your data in Snowflake and other applications. We help you identify and tag sensitive and personal data, as well as break down those data silos across different users and different data owners across your enterprise. By knowing your data, we allow you now to control that data that you know by leveraging policies to manage that data, to integrate with third-party masking and uh, security and authentication control. Uh, applications. We also let you integrate your privacy, security, technical, and cloud metadata across your enterprise. So you have a better understanding, again, where your data is so that we can control it. Now that we can control our data, we can unify that data or the security and data governance across your entire enterprise. Big ID takes an API-first philosophy. So we're able to integrate with other data governance and data cataloging tools such as Alation and Calibra. We can also integrate with things like Salesforce and ServiceNow to give you an entire enterprise view of your data as well as to unify that governance perspective. We do this with our deep data discovery platform. Our deep data discovery platform consists of what we call the four C's, the ability to catalog your data, the ability to classify your data, to cluster your data together, as well as to correlate that data. And I'll go into details of all of that here in a moment. By leveraging those four C's that you can see in the bottom of the slide, across structured, semi-structured, as well as unstructured and applications, we're able to allow you to action that data through our, our different apps that we have. We have privacy applications, we have protection applications, and we have perspective applications. The privacy applications allow you to comply with privacy regulations such as GDPR and CCPA through things like data subject access request fulfillment, your PI and PII inventory, being able to understand not just your personal identifiable data, but also your personal data through our four Cs, consent governance, as well as a, a privacy portal where your clients can request access to the data that you have on them, as well as give you the ability to do things like uh, update that data, to request that data removal. We also have protection apps, things like data remediation, data access intelligence, what data is open to the world that uh, you might have a, an S3 bucket or something that you have some files that you upload into Snowflake. Well, those files may have personal and private data in it. And if it's in a folder that's open to everyone, then there might be something you want to deal with and something you need to deal with from a risk perspective. Our data intelligence will help you be able to find that type of data. As well as perspective applications, again, back to that know your data. Now we can do things like data quality, things like retention management from a control perspective, as well as some advanced profiling, again, understand and know that data. Data governance for Snowflakes and how Big ID really provides some benefits associated with this is through our, our catalog plus classification. So not only do you get a catalog, but you get a catalog that has the classification to understand your personal, your private, that risky type of data. So it's privacy aware catalog. It's also extensible. We talked about with the different integrations, different catalogs, different tool sets that are out there. We can allow you to flag different risky items as well as our broad data, data coverage. Again, that structure that unstructured, semi-structured in applications. We also give the ability to tag that private data so that benefits to understand those data elements and then move into a control type of scenario. 
Uh, we are very flexible in that Big ID can run on AWS, on the Google platform, Azure platform, on-prem. We give you the ability to enrich and extend existing tools that you may have. Again, that Alation, that Calibra, some other different types of data cataloging tools or service now through our APIs, as well as those, those applications that we talked about around privacy and security and governance, all through this embedded, easy-to-use experience. I'm going to switch over to the application itself so you can see how this is all worked in practice. You'll see this splash screen that you, you see as soon as you log into the application. It gives you some basic understanding of the data that you found. So in this case, we have 15 different data sources that have been configured for the application, the number of them with personal and private data, the number of policies that we'll go into details in a minute that have been triggered, the number of attributes that we found, things like social security number, credit card number, user IDs, those type of, of privacy type of data that needs to be controlled and governed, as well as an understanding of where this data is located, not only where is it physically located, but what is the data about? If you think of things like uh, GDPR, where data can't be stored outside of the EU, you need to understand the residency of the, the data that you have. We'll give you the ability to find that residency information. In order to discover, in order to find all this data, we first have to connect to some data sources. So within our data source in the administration, we have the ability to connect to multiple data sources. You'll see Snowflake here, some other databases, as well as, as file shares, including SharePoint and S3. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you how to create a database fairly quickly. You can either do this manually, like I'm going to do here in a moment. You can do this by integrating with something like ServiceNow as CMDB. You can upload through an Excel spreadsheet or other databases and password tools that you may have to pull all this data source in. Um, within the data sources, I can search for things like Salesforce, um, things like Snowflake. I just click on select, fill out the connection information that you need around Snowflake's databases names, schema names that you want to, to scan through this process, maybe the warehouse that you've set up, as well as some, some user identifiable information, as well as, as some basic configurations of how extensive do you want to scan this information? Do you want to add classifiers? Do you want to add machine learning? And I'll go through the details on all this in a moment. So once we have our databases all set up, we go through a scanning process. And ultimately, the scanning process creates this inventory, inventory of all your data across your enterprise. So you can see here very quickly, you can see residency. Where is this data located from a residency perspective? So who's the data about uh, citizens in, in Great Britain, Canada, other type of scenarios, different attributes that have this discovered out here. There's been about 70 different attributes, different applications that have to store this data, as well as the different data sources. Now to create this inventory, we go through that four C's. Again, we catalog that data, we classify that data, we cluster that data, and we correlate that data. The catalog really is what it says is where we catalog all that data is we're going through and we're scanning the data. We're logging the, the metadata around this. It's important to point out that we don't store the actual data that is out there. We store encrypted pointers to where the data is located so that if you need to find it, we can find it through um, going back to those encrypted pointers. But now we don't create another copy of that data that has potential of another security risk. The catalog, as you can see, we've got all the different data sources here off to the left, different applications, different things that we could filter on if we wanted to filter on. I've selected a couple of Snowflake databases. So you'll see this business start database as well as the linkage. Now I can click on one of these database tables. You'll see some basic metadata around it, including location, um, different types of databases, what's the full object that's out there, as well as if it contains a flag here that says it contains PI. So if I click on this attributes, I can see all the different personal and identifiable information that we have associated with that. Things like email, things like IP address. I can also see all of the columns within that table itself. So we've got country, we've got email, you can see where it relates to different attributes and what that mapping associated looks like. If there's a linkage, so you can see here, I can click on this, this linkage um, flag right down here and see where this table is linked to other different types of tables that are out there. I can also click on one of the, uh, the columns and get details. This 
basic profiling. What's their distribution, average length, what type of data is, some mins and some max values. So now I start to understand this data in depth. I can look at different tables, understand the different associated um, linkages, as well as the different personal and private data for all these different tables across your enterprise. Again, this, this one's focused on Snowflake and you can start to see this data, you can see what's being shared, what different types of personal data is out there. I can look at other different types of data within this catalog itself. It could be things like uh, file systems. So now I'm looking at some data that's maybe being uploaded to Snowflake that's on an S3 bucket. You've got some CSV files that you're getting from a client perspective. I can scan that CSV, those CSV files and understand what's within those files as well from a, a database perspective and a, a column perspective. So you understand the privacy associated with that as well.